Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Early morning, your Sunday, all day long. My Wednesday, I'm halfway there. My work week is almost finished. As I take a drink of my coffee. Check it out. I want to talk a little bit about Bixby, remapping Bixby. Now I first seen this on Jay Will's channel. Then I noticed Total Tech had it. And then in his video, he was giving a shout out to Jeff Springer. Nevertheless, we have options. Well, I'm sure there's other videos out on this too as well. You can read it on the web. But you have a couple options. And there, there are probably other options out there, but these are the two that I'm talking about, the two that they were talking about. There's Bix Remap by Dave Bennett. Then there's Bixby Button Remapper by Fascinate with a PH. Okay, now, Bix Remap, when you go and download this app, it only gives you one option, and that's Google Now, which is a great option. I love my Google Now. I, I, I love, it doesn't do anything with Google Assistant, just Google Now. But that gives me, when I go into my Google page, that gives me all my news feed, my sports, my weather local and around the world. I, I just, I love that option. But if you want more options, like I'm using mine for YouTube, you just press that button on the left-hand side of the device, right, be right below the volume rocker, I go right to YouTube. It's Bixby Button Remapper by Fascinate. It'll give you different options in how you want to dedicate that button to, in, in, in certain apps you want to dedicate it to. There's, so there's options. I like having the option, but I'm actually using mine for YouTube. What happens is when you press it though, there's a quick overlay of the Bixby page, and then it jumps to the option that you wanted. Okay, so that's that's the best that we're going to get at this point. I'm sure this may change up as time goes on. Or eventually, Samson just might let us do it with a software update to go ahead and remap it through them. They'll realize, hey, maybe this is gonna take off, maybe it's not, and maybe we should give the option to our consumer. Now, it was there in the beginning, but then they blocked it. So maybe they just allow this again without having that quick overlay of showing Bixby for a split second, then going into whatever option that you're choosing, especially with the Bixby button remapper where it gives you many options to use that button for instead of Bixby. But they are there. I'll leave those links down below in the description area. Bix Map by Dave Bennett, Bixby Button Remapper by Fascinating. I'm stoked that there's an option. I've been using it for a few days and I'm not fascinated by it at all at this point in the game. So, and I know once Bixby is finished and you get the final version of it, then we go back to it, try it out and see if we change our minds. So, uh, I'll see how, you know what happens with that once that once that's here on my device but for right now I do have Bixby button remapper I am using that button on the left hand side of my device right below that volume rocker for YouTube okay so um, I may switch it to Google now I don't know but how many of you have done this how many of you are going to do it how many of you are still working with Bixby and trying to see if it's going to work for you and it's about giving any device that chance to work for you and everything that it entails. You know, the features, everything, the settings, the features, everything about the device. How many of you are just leaving it as is and working with what is on this device, specifically the S8, S8 Plus, or any device you have? How many of you don't actually throw on a different launcher you know, change up the icons. You change up everything because you just don't, but aesthetically the device is what it is, but everything that you're looking at looks different. It, it isn't what the device was intended to be visually in your hand while you're using it. We just don't dig the software, right? So uh, the user interface, it's just not what we want. So we change it all up. So here we have an $850 device that I have, or $750 device, and we're out changing areas on it already because we just don't like it or it's not finished. So, um, but again, 
it's it's Android. This is what we do with Android, right? We we're gonna change it up because we have the freedom to change it up. So that's what we do. So I'm just covering an area that's already been covered, as far as I know, from from yesterday, maybe maybe a couple days before. I, I haven't been paying a lot of attention to this whole remapping thing. Last night was the first time that I actually seen some videos on it because I get really busy with work and family and I try to catch as much as I can um, to do my homework. And once I seen this, I said, oh, cool, I got an option. I'm going to use it. And I like the option. Again, who knows? Maybe Samsung down the road will unblock what they've done with their with their device and allow us to just go ahead and do it and it's a little bit more smoother without having that quick overlay of Bixby before it jumps into the app or option that we are choosing to use with that but do you agree with this do you not agree with this have you done it let me know I got the Samsung Galaxy S8 plus shooting this video today p60 frames per second on the dash of my car um, with that 10 minute limit that I do not like. What I need to know from you in this video is, have you seen any focus hunting? Have you seen any blurring for a period of time and then coming back into focus? Going out of focus, coming back into focus for a period of time. Not just focus, focus hunting is one thing, it's like it's breathing, right? It's, like it's locked onto something, it's trying to find its, its point there. Let me know, but the, the quality of what I'm seeing right now looks great. And that's not my issue that I talked about in my early morning blog yesterday. The visuals, whether you're in 1080p 30 frames per second, 1080p 60 frames per second or higher is just gorgeous, it's just beautiful. It's that focus setting, it's that going out of blur for a period of time and then coming back. So let me know if that's been happening at all. In fact, I just noticed right now it happened. And it'll come back. And that's the one thing that's not going on with my LG G6 or my LG V20, my two latest devices before the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. My J7, my Samsung Galaxy J7 didn't do that. So I'm thinking this is just going to be a software issue that Samsung's going to have to take care of. And they can, I'm sure they can fix it. But for me, it's annoying. It really is when I depend on my devices to give me the best quality of video when I'm creating content for all of you. I have to have that. It just has to be there. All right, everybody. That's all I wanted to talk about this morning. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day in whatever you do. Um, yeah, I just wanted to cover a little bit about Bixby. God bless. Have a great day. Let you listen to a little bit of music while I finish my travels.